Well, <clears throat> this is my second oldest guitar. This is my Ovation Legend. Uh, I believe I bought this guitar in about 1979 or 80. It might have been closer to 80. Um, I was stationed in Germany and I wanted uh, I, I wanted an Ovation guitar for quite some time. Um, I loved the Ovation, the uh, live record back. This is a, a, a deep a deep dish, no electronics. It's all uh, it's all standard acoustic. Um, always loved the construction of the neck. This one had uh, gold gold hardware on it. Um, I've got it uh, I've got it strung with uh, with I believe elixir strings. But uh, it's been a great guitar. I love the way the bridge um, the bridge on this. Uh, holds the strings instead of the pins. It's got a pass through it. I've always preferred that to the pins, but you don't see very many guitars set up this way. Um, this guitar uh, has had been my my go-to guitar. Uh, it's seen a lot of wear, uh, and in fact, right now it's got uh, a few frets on it that's got some pretty good grooves in it that uh, that make it inconvenient uh, to play. Uh, but it still has a great great booming sound. Like I said, I bought this while I was in Germany. I bought it from an online play. Actually, it wasn't an online. It was a catalog, uh, catalog order. Music Emporium, I believe, out of out of New Jersey. Uh, and uh, I, I corresponded back and forth with them. A guy down at Ramstein Air Base had given me the uh, information on how to get a, a hold of uh, Music Emporium, and I sent him a couple of letters and asked him about the guitar and asked him about the case and and what have you, and, and their shipping and handling. And I believe at the time I had to sell I had to sell two guitars to buy this one. Um, at that time I was just a uh, staff sergeant in the Air Force. Uh, it was kind of expensive to live in Germany at that time. We were living downtown. We weren't living on base, so I had to do everything I could uh, to come up with enough money uh, to offset the price of this guitar by selling two. And unfortunately, I had to sell one that my dad gave me as a Christmas present the first year I was in the Air Force, and I hated to part with that guitar because it was a beautiful, a beautiful guitar that uh, that he had uh, purchased for me for that first Christmas. Um, but I sold it and uh, purchased this beautiful, this beautiful legend. Like I said, I've had it for probably almost 40 years, uh, 38 to be uh, exact, and it was my go-to guitar for many, many years. I used this guitar um, the whole time then I was in Germany. I ran a, uh, uh, a choir at the church, and I used this guitar, and uh, for many years it was the guitar that, uh, that I would pick up every day and play, and it's got a nice sound to it. I'll pick a little bit here. So a little one note samba there uh, to give you an idea. Uh, it's a beautiful, a beautiful guitar. It plays just incredibly well. Uh, like I said, I use this guitar um, a lot uh, and, and it's held up very, very well for me. I haven't had it out of the case in, uh, in a few months. Uh, I'm glad I went ahead and pulled it out. It seems to be doing well. Um, in this uh, dry environment, there's always a fear uh, in, uh, in the dry environment that you'll get some cracking, uh, but she's done well. I'll probably uh, put a humidifier on her and uh, make sure that she gets a good drink of water. Mm -hmm. 